Hey, hi all. In this video, we will discuss about analytics. So, what is analytics? Analytics uh, is nothing but a scientific process of transforming data into insights for the purpose of uh, better decisions. Moving ahead, we have uh, what is Salesforce CRM analytics. So, CRM analytics, formerly uh, known as Tableau CRM, is a cloud-based platform for for connecting data from multiple sources. Multiple sources can be multiple objects we can create um, a dashboard in analytics from um, for single object multiple object uh, from external sources from etls so creating it from multiple sources creating interactive views of that data and sharing those views in the apps so in apps uh, as we have apps in salesforce in the same way we have apps in analytics uh, in a particular app we can define like what all permissions a user will have the access to that particular dashboard lens or to that data set okay now, collections of data in CRM analytics in uh, it collects and organizes data set uh, lenses dashboards and apps these are some of the components which we have in the analytics then what is data set a uh, data set is nothing but a collection of related data that can be viewed in a tabular format uh, data data set is nothing but a box of data it can have data from single or multiple objects and from external sources data that can be created by combining data from other data sets then what is lens a lens is a visualization of data in a data set if we have a data set like collection of uh, all the accounts which we, which we have in org and we have some specified uh, criteria to it like we are collecting all the account records which are of type um, business then it will be a soql query in that we will get all the um, data about the account uh, which are of type business but to visualize it to see the bar graph like how many accounts are of this category or uh, the particular specific details about that to visualize that we have to create a lens from that data set then again we have dashboards a collection of widgets uh, that give you an overview of the reports and metrics you care about most as we do in the salesforce we have reports and dashboards but when we uh, run any report it fetches all the data from related uh, related records and then it displays the data uh, but in analytics the data pushes not from actual object it is from from the data set which we have created and then we have written some data flows data preparation activity is there so we have already we have all the data set and if there is a uh, data sync on between the objects uh, so all the data will be pulled from that particular object to the data set and then the analytics when analytics will run or we will refresh that particular dashboard that they will fetch the data from the dashboard or oh, sorry data set they will not go to the objects and pull data they go to data set and pull data from there in analytics so this is a pictorial representation of how it uh, how this works so first of all we have uh, data from salesforce like different objects or uh, we can collect data from different objects then we can upload some of the csv then we have some etl rules from where we can push the data into analytics or it can be external sources from where we are pulling the uh, pushing the data into analytics so basically it is an extraction of data into crm analytics then we create data set from them uh, then from data set we can create dashboard we can create lenses and we can create stories and this all data set and this all things dashboard lens story recipes they are a part of an app so why app app gives us permissions we can grant access to users so what all users will have access to it what all users can um, can have access to that particular dashboard they can view that dashboard in that type of sort of thing then we can create all these things from data set and we when we are extracting data so we can extract data from salesforce from csv uh, uploader so we can upload csvs and from external sources then we run data flow according to some of the criteria which are fields we require 
and which all uh, which all fields we require in that particular data set so that is a data flow which we run for every data set for every data set there is a data flow to capture all the data which is required if the sync is on so all the data which is updated on account object will be there in the analytics data set which we have created for that uh, there will be a data flow associated with it in which we have marked some of the fields uh, that will be captured in that data set so that's all for analytics in the upcoming videos we will see how to create data uh, how to create um, uh, how to extract data from csv uploader from uh, how to connect uh, an object or how, how to connect analytics and the salesforce objects to uh, get the data that is data sync and how to create data set from them then the data flows and uh, then the lenses because the end product of this whole story is lenses and dashboards uh, which represents uh, which represents a pictorial representation of the data so we can uh, so the business can make some decisions on that on the top of on top of that so thank you have a nice day